Hi, this is Lisa Allen, and in this video we'll be going over how to get started with the Feeds Info tab. Now, this used to be named the Blogs Info tab in version 1 of the software, but because we've now expanded it beyond just blogs, and now you can use YouTube videos and pretty much any site that you want, this is now called the Feeds Info tab. So the first thing that you'll want to do is to put the URL of the piece of content that you want the boost, the rankings, and authority of in the first box here on the first tab. Now, this is something that I do for every piece of content that I actually publish, whether it's a video or a post or something else like a guest post somewhere else. So I do this for pretty much every piece of content that I publish. So let's say, for example, that I want to boost this post that I have on my website. And you can see that it's a little post here about adding website breadcrumb microdata for SEO purposes. And so I'm just going to take the URL of that post. Now this is, as I mentioned, the target content. And so I'm going to put it right here in the first box. And what this is going to do is it's going to go out and find the accompanying RSS feed for that site. So I'm just going to click on Get Feed Info and you can see that it goes out and it found the whole site RSS feed. Now there also used to be an option for it to find that what we call the single post feed. However, we found that the great majority of websites do not support this feature. YouTube used to support this feature where you could get an RSS feed for a specific single video. And then of course when they changed their API and, and changed all the feeds, then that feature disappeared. So pretty much WordPress was the only one that supported it. And we've been seeing some kind of spotty support even there where sometimes if there's no comments on a particular post, the feed will sometimes show nothing, like not even a, a title or anything. And so we've made some changes here so that it will always, when it's constructing your feeds, use the target content as what we call a static item in the feed, meaning it puts that in the feed and it's always there regardless of whether there's any feeds that have it. And so that's a change that we've made. So if you're used to the one that had a third box here, don't worry about it because we've just moved it so that it automatically handles this by using this as what we call a static or sticky item in the feed. Okay, so once it's gone and gotten the feed info, that's really all you need. And in the next tab, we'll be talking about how to find the companion feeds using the keyword RSS scrape tab. And so after you've done this, just click on next and that will take you to the next tab. And then in the next video, we will cover that also. So thanks for watching. This has been Lisa Allen and I will talk to you again soon.